What you got, Nick? Well, I can see a pipe down here. A little pipe laying under the surface of the stream. Just there, see it? Here we are, look, looking a little bit green. <laughs> but nothing, there's a little little scrub with a toothbrush won't do, a little blunt toothbrush won't damage it. Good. That's a pipe from, what, about 1840, 1850, I'd say. Brilliant. Also, what I need. Let's see if there's any more. Yeah, let's do it. I'm here today with Sci-Fines. We are at a little river in West London. As you know, I'm a huge clay pipe fan and I've seen quite a few bits of clay pipe here and I've been researching some of the makers from this area, in particular a man called Swinyard, and I'm hoping to find some of his clay pipes today and find out a lot more about the pipe maker himself. So I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of investigation and so I hope that you'll join me and see what I'm going to uncover today. That's right, this certain area is usually full of water and they're doing a bit of work upstream and all the water's gone, which is great conditions for a good bit of mudlarking. So let's get some luck in the muck. Yeah, let's get some luck in the muck. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> so we're going to check it out. Well, this is uh, exciting. I'm scraping around and pipes are just popping out at me left, right and centre. I found... Um, a Masonic pipe here, another one, I found one a minute ago. Here it is, look, you can see the hand there. And I'm not sure what that is on the other side, but look here, it's just pickled with pipe stems and pipe bowls just popping out everywhere. This is like uh, one of those dreams that I might have. <laughs> Being in a place with lots of pipes. <laughs> Only you would dream about pipes. <laughs> I know. So I've been scraping here, as you can see, all these little pipe fragments, but we just came up with this, which is um, some pipe stems stuck in clay by the looks of it. Very unusual. You just found this beautiful face pipe. Look at that. Nose. Can I see the profile? Yeah, do you want to hold it or yeah. just so you can get it in shot? Oh, look at that, it's gorgeous. That's really kind of crudely done as well, isn't it? I think that's uh, my favourite so far. Mm. He's a jolly little chap, <laughs> isn't he? He's got a funny little chin, or is it a I'm beard? I'm surprised the nose and stuff has lasted this long because you think mm. that would just be snapped off after. That is spectacular. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> He's so kind to me. Oh, well, you know, Nick, what can I say? You can borrow it if you want. <laughs> there you go. It's Thank yours. Oi, you're not meant to eat it. Okay. Well, Simon's up there, metal detecting, and I'm still here having a great time looking for pipes. But what I've found here is absolutely fantastic. It's a pipe that's sort of in the, quite embedded in the material that it would have been in the kiln in. There you are, look, see? It's actually there, still encrusted in. So we're finding quite a few pipe stems stuck to bits of brick. And what are these? Uh, these are all out of a pipe maker's kiln. The sort of silica and the sort of hard, slaggy type of material that they're. And then with the pipe and stems. These are just, it's all on. a waste, I yeah. presume, from the kiln. Yeah, got, waste from the kiln. Yes, and look at all here. of that. There's loads of clay pipe stem waste. Look at that. What a waste. <laughs> what a waste. But it just, we don't ever see them like this. No, so it's no, exactly. Nice. It's, it's actually really nice to go back a little bit and see part of the process, isn't it? Yeah. 
Now, quite excitingly, Jules has just found some stems with the names of this maker on, which we were talking about earlier, Swinyard. So we've got Guildford oh, along on. here, and then oh, on the other side yes. we've got the man's name, Swinyard. Can I look? And I think we've got what, what would be William there, look, because you can see an A and an M on the end and a W here. So we've got William, is it William Swinyard? Yeah, it's going to be William Swinyard, exactly who you were... Uh, talking about just uh, now. On, yeah, and there's another one with Guildford, Surrey, and there's, they missed the E. Oh, now they, were, that they weren't is, good spellers perfect. back in the day. So there you go. Oh, can I hold them and have a look? Yeah. And Simon's got the, the, um, the bowl to that, which is the, the Turkish... Oh, that's, been, that's the great. Turk's head. It just really adds a lot of context to it. I mean, generally speaking, they started putting their initials in the sides oh, and the place on the sides in the mid, like what, nineteenth century, yeah. maybe eighteen sixty. Under here, under this leaf, under this leaf, is a pipe, and um, it's definitely got a design on it because I can tell as I run my thumb over it. So, yeah, it's in a bit of a state. It's got something stuck <laughs> on the edge. But let's give it a little rinse and have a look see and, and I will probably have to give this one a slightly more sort of uh, oh wow look at that oh look that's great isn't it you can make out the profile of somebody here just about uh -huh. and just there you can see Britannia beautiful yeah look at that Jules has just found a Turk's head one just, or a person just, just it might part not be a of that decorated pipe yeah. stem that we found so it could be that that matches one of these, we yeah. don't know, but I'm going to give it a quick wash. Give it a wash, give it a better look. It's one a bit like the one that oh, it's Simon a bit of damage on the top. Had. But oh, look, here he is. look at that. I just think they're great. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, look, it's a funny little expression. <laughs> Quite nice. So, count, this is he? a pipe made by William Swinyard, Swinyard yeah. of Guildford. Yeah, of Guildford, sorry. And uh, isn't that great? That's just perfect. It'd be nice to get a complete one. We it shall would. persevere. Well, keep, keep digging. We'll, we'll keep going for the moment. Yeah. Now, as I was walking along a moment ago, I saw something which just looked, I don't know, looked a little bit different to all these other rocks. Uh, and I picked it up. And indeed, it is something a little bit different, but it's quite amazing that I swear it really, because it's very camouflaged. And it's actually a little seal. So quite a nice find. Now here we have a little duck. It's certainly not a pipe, but he's rather endearing, don't you think? Yeah, it's lovely. Tweet, tweet. bottles. I know, there's an awful lot of junk here, isn't there? But you never know what you might find in amongst the junk. Yeah. A flipper. Oh my goodness, I mean, I wouldn't fancy diving in here. seen um, what looks like could be some form of lamp down here lodged under this wood and I want to have a look and put it out and if it's an old lamp I shall give it to Cy Fines to do some of his upcycling magic. Oh, so I, I, I have to do the cleaning for you do I? Uh, oh no I'll, I'll clean it off I'll clean the <laughs> algae off but look here you see it's got like it's got like a hinge and I'm wondering if it's an old lamp or something Oh, it is! Oh, wow. oh my gosh! Ooh, Look! Wow. That oh, is a brilliant find. Blimey, Riley! Look at that! Thanks, Nick. You've actually <laughs> given that to me already, haven't you? I certainly have. I'm a woman of my word, and I think there's no better person to do the upcycling <laughs> than my mate's side. Look, he's got masthead there. Oh, probably starboard. Oh, my yeah, God! Starboard. You are going to do such a fantastic job ooh, of this. Ooh, 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 <gasps> oh, my ooh. God! There's is is a crayfish yeah, stuck, up, stuck inside oh, it. No. Put it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is, it is back. <laughs> I'm sorry for everybody who doesn't like it when I make little 
crustaceans <laughs> homeless. But no, this is going to look really great. I think Sai's going to do a fab job of this. Well, it's brass, hopefully, so uh, it should clean up pretty well. Look. That is a beauty. Look at that. Oh, wow. What we need some is some glass in there as well. I wonder if the glass is still around. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait to see what you do with that. That is so cool. Do you know what? I saw that and I just thought it's modern junk. I'm not saying that it's mine in any way. It's definitely yours because it looked great in your studio. Probably even better than my man cave, but there we go. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what a great find. I couldn't believe it. No, I, that, that was better than I thought it was going to be when <laughs> I pulled it out and from under that um, wood. Fantastic. Mm. Okay. Well done, Nick. That's a super find. It's got any Rolex. Surely not. Did you say Rolex? Yeah. Oh, flip. Rolex watch, but... And there's no chance that's real. Look, this is lovely. Look at that. Oh, that's probably part of the yeah. lamp. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, it is. It's come up the side. Oh, well it? done. Oh, flip. I found, that, is a... Ooh, that is such a beautiful <laughs> colour. Change your mind. <laughs> no. It's nice, though. Look well, at that. Put Perfect. it on the. So that fits. So this little bit here fits in the side of the lamp. Well, let's, uh, let's reconnect it. That's what I said, there might be some glass here, look. so that goes in the side there, let's nice. see. Nice, yeah, so that goes in there like that. Yeah. Perfect, well there's another one probably down here somewhere as well. I reckon so. That whole thing fell off and just shattered probably when it hit the, uh, yeah. hit the ground. Must be, must be in here, it's just, we'll have to come back later when the, when the mud has settled, you know, because we'll probably see it then. Yeah. We get some stuff out of the way now and then. <laughs> Shot glass. Oh, what's this? <clears throat> oh, oh, look! <laughs> it's a little. I'm going to keep that. It's a little truck. Brilliant. <laughs> Nicola Especially White, the... Tideline Art, hired for river cleanups. Yeah. And four hours. I suppose we better be careful don't step on it. Yeah, I know. There's loads of glasses in here though. That's the trouble. That's Something over there I want to have a look at quickly. There's a bit of a pipe behind there as well, a pipe bowl. I don't know if there might be a bit of pipe stem on it as well. Oh, just a bit of crap. Behind, behind you, there. Oh yeah, well done Nick, well spotted. She can spot a pipe at a thousand paces. Oh, nice. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, that fell over. <laughs> Is it a good one? Yeah. It's the hand, it's the hand with oh, the... Nice. Uh, that's, that's a nice example. Well look, seeing as you gave me the, uh, the thing, that's got to be... Hand it over. It's got to be yours, isn't it? <laughs> hand it over, get it? No? Oh yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely It's got a little hand on it, nice, nice bit of uh, stem on that one. Yeah, and it's got the initials WS. Ooh. Can I tempt you with a river delicacy? Oh, delightful! Stunted. Are there any, any little, um, little of those, those it's, little uh, lobsters? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> it's just uh, canopies of stone and rust. Sandy broads. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, what's that? So you're trying to find the rest of the uh, lamp, are you? Yeah. What have you got there? Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> a nice shoe. Oh, man. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, we do love sifting around in junk, don't we? We do. Well, while Simon is searching for part of the lamp, I've just seen... Where's it gone? Part of a little truck. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Let's see. Oh, that's so nice! A little train. Funny <laughs> truck trains. So great. A little train. Oh, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh. Thomas the Tank Engine. Well, I found a few toys today. You got it! Fabulous! What about that? Oh, brilliant. Let me yeah, zoom man. in on that. Look at that beautiful chunk of red glass. Look at that. 
that's the port bit. Yeah, so what was the other one? Blue or something, wasn't it? Well, it's, yeah, it looks bluey, it's sort of turquoise. Sweet. Very nice. Well, I'm thinking the other, the other part. Now, I was wandering along and I spotted this piece of metal. Of course, I'm really hoping that there may be some lettering on it. Wouldn't that be just great? I shall give it a little rinse and see if it reveals anything. Oh, I really hope so. I don't know though. There we are, there it is. Let's give it a wash off. I can't see. Oh, there is something. Oh, I found a little plaque type thing. I'm telling Simon. I found a little plaque. But it does have something, look. Oh, it's got something Guildford. I'm thinking, oh, it's probably from a from a, um, a, a boiler or something, but I've got great hopes that it might be a name. I don't know, that would be just too good to be true. Well, um, I just picked up this little plaque, as you saw, and um, it does have some lettering on it and it could possibly be a name. So I'm already jumping with excitement, um, wanting to go and research it. So that's just great. It's so my favorite kind of find. So I'm gonna put that in my bag and later on, I'll be getting on the internet to see if I can find out anything. Well, I have to clean it off first, of course, to, to, to uncover the name, but it looks like it could be something like Harry or Larry. So. Excellent. Well, that's, yeah. that's certainly intriguing. Watch this space. Can't wait. Say it like you mean it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Nick, that's an awesome find. I can't wait to see what uh, who Harry Howe is. That's better, thank you. Hopefully, very much. hopefully thank he's not uh, Harry Howe deceased, and that's his. Uh, that's come off his um, oh. his urn. Well, he probably <laughs> is deceased, but hopefully it's not his urn. I think I think it's probably the name of a boat, Harry Howe. That's just a guess, but okay. there might be a date in the middle as well. I might say July, but that's just again. It's hard, so hard to make out exactly what it says. But a little bit of um, a little bit of a clean, and that should uh, that should reveal more. Hopefully, it's engraved and as opposed to painted, and you can see what um, what it says. I think it is engraved. Excellent find, Nick. Well found. Thank you very much, Si. Right, on to the next one. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wow, Nick. Well, apparently Simon's found something. See what it is. Oh, what is it? Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. See Can the date on the bottom? Yes. What's that? Ava available until 31st of December 1934. Uh huh. It's like some sort of boat license or <laughs> permit. Yeah. Well, it's actually got something around the edges as well. Oh, look, yeah. At the top. Oh, I didn't notice that. And the bottom, I think. Oh, let's give it a wash and see if we can yeah. get it. I need, I need like a scouring pad. Oh, I've got a, a brush. Let's see my fingers will do the job first. Conservants, maybe. Conservants. Conservants. Oh. Con Conservancy. Conservancy. I can't say it. Conservancy. Oh. Thames Conservancy. Wow, that's really pretty. I love that. 1935. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely brilliant. What a brilliant find. Well, Nick, as, as you gave me the lantern, oh. you, you're more than welcome to, to take that if you want to put it on your... Are you serious? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because it's... I mean, I love it, but you love it as well, so you can have it. And it's, it's, uh, it's a swap for the lantern, because you so kindly gave that to me. Um, you can take that and put it up in your... Studio. Oh, thank you. It's awesome, isn't it? Mm. And you can do your research for, for the, uh, for the yeah. viewers. Thank you very much. Well, I've just stopped for a little lunch break and I've been looking at my little plaque and uh, it certainly does seem to say something which could possibly be Harry. And as we were talking about it, or rather, what, what did you say we were doing, Si? We were... We were pontificating. We were pontificating about this 
find. And Cy came out with a really good theory. theory. Well, over the uh, over the other side there used to be an old um, boating yard, and they used to give out leisure boats to tourists and pleasure seekers and whatever. And I've noticed that on one of the signs above one of the um, beer garden uh, pagodas. It says the word Harry's Boathouse. Harry's Boathouse. So if that's got a link to the past, because often people do have little nods to the past, yeah. they, they might have worked out that Harry and Alfred were the original owners of that particular boatyard. Now to support Simon's theory that what I found could have links to a little boathouse, there are an awful lot of these around, these sort of ore holders, what are they, ore locks or something. People used to put oars in them anyway. And there's a lot of them scattered around. So if there were a lot of people out rowing these boats, and there were a lot of those boats, that little plaque could have come off of a boat. Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching and I hope you're all well. I've come out for a really lovely walk today for my daily exercise and I thought I'll do my round up here by the river. Unfortunately you can't see the river because the sun is in the wrong place but afterwards I'll take a few uh, clips so that you can see the beautiful view that I'm staring at. So it was really good fun to go out with Jules and Simon to the river way and that was filmed a lot earlier last year and so you may have already seen a video similar of Simon's version of events. It was a great opportunity to recuperate some fantastic bits of history with the river level being so low and the reason it was so low is that a weir had collapsed last year sometime and so this made the water levels drop dramatically but it gave us the opportunity to recuperate some really important pieces of history and I'm talking in particular about the remnants of the pipe kiln of the Swinyard family. And the Swinyard family were a family of master clay pipe makers who were making pipes in London and also in Guildford, Surrey during the late 18th and 19th century. And it was a pipe lover's dream to discover all the remnants of the kiln. Uh, it really, really was very, very exciting. And there seemed to be about five different designs mostly. Um, all of them really, really nice and intricate. And as you saw, I didn't find a Turk's head design, which I would have loved to find like Jules and Simon. But I did find a tiny piece of stem which had just the remnants of some hair and an ear. So I didn't miss out completely. But because they're really important, those, those remnants, and they can be really useful for research, I'm actually going to give all those bits and pieces, all those pipes and bits of kiln to the Society for Clay Pipe Research so that they can research them and find out a little bit more about how the pipe kiln worked for the Swinyard family. So um, I'm really happy that I'm able to give all those bits and pieces to them. So what else did we find? Well, we found lots of things to do with the pleasure activities that went on along the River Way, way back when, um, including lots of things to do with boating. I mean, you saw the number of oars that we found, so there were obviously lots of rowing boats on that part of the river, and pleasure boats too. And you'll have noticed that Simon found this plaque here. Now this plaque would originally have had enamel on it and it's actually a permit, like a license permit for a boat. So it would have been attached to the boat. And this one was issued by the Thames Conservancy. And the Thames Conservancy were founded in 1857 and they were responsible for looking after the upkeep of the River Thames. Now you can't see it very well but this permit here ran out on the 31st of October 1934 and apparently when the permits ran out these were taken off the boats and then skimmed into the river so perhaps that's how this one ended up in the river way. Then we've got this little plaque here, which I absolutely love because it's got a name on it and it's always great to have something to research. And the name on there is Harry Howe, Builder of Guildford. So I looked up Harry and sure enough, he's registered in the 1911 Electoral Register as a boat builder, but also 
a confectioner. So a really interesting combination of professions, making sweets and making boats. And so this would have come off of a boat that Harry Howe undoubtedly made. Maybe a little rowing boat, maybe a larger boat, but it would have come off one of his boats. And as an interesting aside, when I was researching Harry Howe, I came across a newspaper article and back in 1900 in Guildford a bridge collapsed and consequently a new bridge was built and in 1902 they had a special luncheon to celebrate this new bridge being built and Harry Howe was one of the guests. So I thought it was quite amusing that almost 120 years later when the weir has collapsed who makes an appearance but Harry Howe. So, here he is, and um, I'd like to find out if he's got any descendants, actually, because I'm sure that they'd love to have a plaque with his name on it. So I'm very pleased with this little find. Now, I was absolutely thrilled to find the lamp from the boat, and I can't wait to see what Simon does with it, and I'm sure that he'll make something excellent with it, or he'll do it up really well, because he usually does a fantastic job of his um, upcycling, so can't wait to see that, Simon. And what else? Well, a handful of toys. A nice handful of toys which probably were thrown from the riverbank or maybe dropped overboard from a boat, a rowing boat, a pleasure boat, and you can't help wondering if tears were shed when these toys were dropped overboard. Now, I've got this little chicky here, or is it a canary? I'm not sure. It looks like it could be Tweety Pie, but does anybody know who this little chap is. I've got the rest in my bag down here so I shall just pick up my bag. We have the slightly more modern Thomas the Tank Engine but even he was made in 1992 according to the, the, the markings on the bottom so still a little bit of age to it. Almost as old as my son. And this little police car here which is lovely, really nice. And I think this is my favourite. It's actually a lead seal of the animal variety and it's marked underneath with John Hill and apparently it comes from around about the 1950s. So I do love that little seal. So what a marvellous opportunity to recuperate this history that's been sitting at the bottom of that river for all those years and um, like I said I'm very excited about giving the remnants of the pipe kiln to the Society for Clay Pipe Research. And on that subject I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Society for Clay Pipe Research which, as I know a lot of you do, which if you love pipes and you're really interested in clay pipes it might be a good idea to think about joining. It's very, very reasonable to join. It's about £15 a year if you're in the USA and about £13 a year if you're in Europe and £12 if you're in the UK. And you receive two newsletters, I think, a year. And when you join, you actually receive two years worth of newsletters. And it's just a great info, all about clay pipes, everything you could possibly want to know about clay pipes, including why there are so many found on the Thames foreshore. So um, I've joined it myself and uh, I haven't looked back since so I would highly recommend joining if you're interested in clay pipes or maybe getting a membership for somebody that you know that loves clay pipes and I'll put all the details of how to join in the description of this video. The next thing I wanted to say is thank you very, very much to all of the mini mudlarks, mini detectorists, beachcombers, treasure hunters for sending in their clips, which I'm going to put together and put on the treasures in lockdown video, which I'll be working on and should come out within the next two weeks. So I'll let you know when that's coming out. And thank you very much. I can't wait to share all your fantastic, brilliant finds with everyone. And I think I know that everyone is going to be very excited to see this video and it's brilliant to see so many young people so many children inspired to search for pieces of history and research them too so well done everyone well done on that and now all that remains to say is thank you everyone for your comments and your feedback on all my videos i really really appreciate each and every one of them and i hope that your week gets better and better and i'm really looking forward to seeing you again very soon 
Thank you. Bye-bye. Sometimes we could all use a friend 